Kate Hudson and Demi Moore stole the show as they attended the celebration of Women in Cinema Gala during the Venice Film Festival on Saturday night. The actress, 42, cut a flawless figure in a risque cutout black dress which showcased her stunning figure as she posed for pictures inside the glamorous event. The daring gown featured a thigh slit right up the leg displaying her toned pins which were elongated with a pair of slip-on heels. The screen star wore her blonde locks in a loose sleek do which was styled in a center parting, while she also opted for a subtle coat of natural makeup. Meanwhile, Demi Moore, 58, showcased her taut midriff in a white crop top and a matching floor-length skirt. The stylish two-piece displayed Demi's sizzling figure, while she kept the attention on her look by going accessory-free. The stunning star wore her raven dresses in a loose sleek style and enhanced her pretty features with a natural coat of makeup. Kate and Demi, who are longtime pals, sweetly posed for snaps with their arms wrapped around each other once inside the glitzy soiree. The event celebrating women took place during the 78th International Film Festival. The 2021 Venice Film Festival will take place from 1 to 11 September, and is considered one of the world's oldest awards ceremonies and one of the Big Five events. The jury is headed by Parasite frontman Bong Joon-ho, who said he is honored to be woven into its beautiful cinematic tradition. As president of the jury, and more importantly as a perpetual cinephile, I'm ready to admire and applaud all the great films selected by the festival. I'm filled with genuine hope and excitement. The jury is also comprised of director Severio Costanzo, actress Virginia Fira, star Cynthia Erivo, actress Sarah Godin, documentarian Alexander Nanao, and director Chloe Zhao. This year's festival has also invited two Afghan filmmakers, Sarak Arimi and Saramani, to discuss the Taliban's takeover of the country, with particular attention to the situation of filmmakers and artists, in a panel taking place on 4 September. The topic of the panel will be the dramatic situation of Afghan filmmakers and artists in general, the need for the creation of humanitarian corridors and the guarantee of the granting of political refugee status, as well as concern for their future and the need to provide for their accommodation once they arrive in Europe. Oscar-winning Italian director Roberto Benigni who helmed the acclaimed Life is Beautiful, will also be honored with the Golden Lion for Lifetime Achievement. In a statement he said, My heart is full of joy and gratitude. It is an immense honor to receive such an important recognition of my work from the Venice International Film Festival. This year's festival has also seen the grand return of its star-studded red carpet premieres, after last year's event was drastically scaled back due to the COVID pandemic. Last year's occasion saw a significantly smaller number of guests in attendance, while all red carpet arrivals required to adhere to social distancing, with temperature checks and mask wearing mandatory at the event. Despite its return, this year's festival is still adhering to strict COVID guidelines, following a rise in cases in Italy. Public access to the red carpet is banned, and more than 10 testing stations have been set up. All attendees must show proof of a negative test or vaccination to enter a screen, and masks are required indoors.